and welcome to this week's episode of Musical Mondays, where each week I talk about a new show from the world of musical theater. Oh, I bet I could, oh my god, I could like read this as it's, <laughs> okay, so, hi everyone, just giving you a little bit of background um, on this episode, so normally I write them all out in this handy little notebook that I have, as you can see I have my first two, in oh, this is the back. <laughs> going well. Um, I have my first one here, my second one, I'll probably write them all down, but I use a variety of web sources to help in a lot of these shows, so far at least, I have seen. So I um, write it out, I give a, myself a little bit of what I want to say, and then I record and I just make one big video and I record as I go. Um, but today I was making a run of masks that I've made for some of my friends and co-workers in the area, and so I have been really busy making masks and I haven't had um, a lot of time to write it all out. So I figured I would just have my web pages open and kind of record as I go. And now I'm realizing that I can just swipe over here and have it be on like the Wikipedia page or what have you for each show. So this actually might be a lot easier and we're learning. This week I'm talking about the show, She Loves Me, which I got to see the 2016 revival of on Broadway, starring Laura Benanti, Zachary Levi, Jane Kurkowski, and Gavin Creel. Is this turning into a Gavin Creel vlog series? I don't know. I was able to see the 2016 revival, and I got to stick around and I got an autographed playbill from both Laura Benanti and Zachary Levi, and I got a picture with him. Here's the picture. The musical originally premiered on Broadway in 1963, followed by a West End production in 1964. It also had a Broadway revival in 1993, my birth year, and a West End revival in 1994, and Broadway and West End revivals in 2016. The musical has book by Joe Masteroff, lyrics by Sheldon Harnick, and music by Jerry Bach. The musical is an adaptation of the 1937 play Parfumery, by a Hungarian playwright whose name I will not attempt to pronounce. There was also a 1940 film starring James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan called The Shop Around the Corner, and a 1949 version starring Judy Garland and Van Johnson that had music and it was called In the Good Old Summertime. The story surfaced again in 1998 in the classic film You've Got Mail starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Now that leads us into our plot. The plot of She Loves Me primarily follows George and Amalia. Amalia is a new worker at a parfumery, and she and George are at constant odds with each other. However, what they don't know is that they've both been writing to each other through a lonely hearts ad and have become pen pals and start falling in love. It's such a beautiful story. <laughs> I personally really love it. The original Broadway production saw Barbara Cook and Daniel Massey in the lead roles. The 1993 revival starred Judy Kuhn and Boyd Gaines. And the 2016 revival had Laura Benanti and Zachary Levi. The original Broadway production was nominated for five Tony Awards and won one. The 1993 revival received nine Tony nominations, including one win. The 1994 London revival was nominated for seven Olivier Awards and won five, including Best Musical Revival. And the 2016 revival was nominated for eight Tony Awards and won one. This set was truly amazing and deserving, in my opinion, of its 2016 Best Scenic Design Tony win. A fun fact about the production, one of the iconic songs from the show, Vanilla Ice Cream, which I actually sang in my senior vocal recital in college, was a last minute addition to the show. The song wasn't added to the show until a pre-Broadway out-of-town tryout. The song had been written by Sheldon Harnick. Jerry Bach quickly put some music to it, and Barbara Cook said she could do it that night. Another fun fact is that the 2016 revival was the first Broadway show to ever be live stream. You can watch it now on Broadway HD. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Musical Mondays. Tune in next week for another musical. Also, again, I just want to say a shout out. Sorry, this video is a little shorter than normal. Actually, it might be longer. I don't know because I'm just recording this now. Uh, it's not a lot, but today has been like insanely busy for me. So um, I hope you found this video fun, informative. You want more? Come back next Monday. I'll be doing another musical. 
What more do you want to see in these videos? Do you want to see me singing? Do you want photos? Do you want, I don't know. What do you want? Comment below. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Also, I want to say if anyone out there that's watching this, whether you're a friend of mine or not, or you know someone that I know, um, I am making masks. And if you need some, don't hesitate to reach out to me. However you want to get in contact with me, whether that's Facebook, call, text, email, um, through my website, I have a contact me portion. You can also comment um, in the comments of this video if you need a mask. Um, some people have offered to pay me. Uh, if you can't afford one when you need one, just like reach out to me and let me know and I will uh, get in contact with you. So, yes, don't hesitate to reach out. I have a lot of fabrics, not just Disney. Um, but this one is the one that I made for myself. I also have a variety of elastic ties, all sorts of things like that. So, um, yeah, just want to help anyone I can during this time. And if you need one, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks for watching! To my fans and friends, is this turning into a Gavin Krill fan blog? I don't know. Ooh. The 2016 Broadway revival was nominated for, oh, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. The plot revolves around George and Amalia, who, despite being consistently at odds with each other at work, are unaware. Do, 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 do. I found the MTI study guide. This is probably going to be a really short video this week. Oh, my exercise ball. Okay. I can't wait to watch this later.